Hi everyone, the topic I'm going to be talking about is same-sex adoption and advertising in news stories. So I'm going to be looking at people's views of when same-sex adoption is shown in the media. So people who view it as positive and why they view it as positive, and people who view it as negative and why they view it as negative. So kind of to start the discussion off, I thought that I would give you all some examples of how we are seeing the same-sex adoption in the media through ads and news stories. So um, let's first take an example that I found from the new Google Home commercial. This commercial showed two men. They were married, they were dads, and they were rushing to get their kids ready for school and they were asking the new Google Home some questions. Um, just, you know, they were asking the new Google Home questions. So um, in response to this ad, Gwen Landlot, the head of Real Women of Canada, expressed her opinion saying, it's an attempt to normalize same-sex relationships using children as props. The problem with this ad normalizing same-sex couples is that social science indicate that children need both a mother and a father. This adds an abuse to children. Google is supporting an abnormality. So that was kind of a negative example. So let's go ahead and take a positive example that I found from Wells Fargo. They, um, they put out an ad that was showing two lesbian women that were about to adopt a, um, they were about to adopt a deaf child, so they were learning sign language. Um, the responses to this ad were mostly positive. And of those who viewed it on YouTube, the ratio of likes to dislikes were 65 to 1. So Jenna Stanula took to Twitter to say, My heart is exploding. I'm immediately transferring all my investments to Wells Fargo. And um, that was just one of the thousands of positive feedback. So let's take, um, so executive creator director of this ad, Matt Miller also said, we never set out to make a spot about, the, the, about a lesbian couple. We set out to reflect the modern world this campaign lives in. All right, so let's look at a news story that I found that both has, that has a positive and negative views of same-sex adoption incorporated into it. So first we see a quote from Randy Ball, a state legislator from Florida saying, Homosexual couples do not provide the kind of stable, wholesome environment that would justify the state having a law that allows them to adopt children. That was kind of the negative aspect. So the positive aspect is from comedian Rosie O'Donnell, who is trying to fight for the right to keep her foster child, saying, I don't think America knows what a gay parent looks like. I am the gay parent. So in the recent years, verbal and visual images of gay and lesbian families have had an increasing presence in the media. Um, and this kind of helps prime us in a sense. So according to Lando, portrayals of gays and lesbians and the mainstream media are significant because um, news stories and ads play a role in constructing gay politics in contemporary civic life. So what she's saying is what people see and hear in the news is what we accept as reality. So um, let's take another study done by Lynn. He explains how the social narratives play an important role influence, influencing judicial decision as, um, as in the Supreme Court case, Baugh versus Lewitt, uh, which this court case focused on the nation's attention um, on the topic of same-sex adoption. So he also goes on to explain that with ads and news stories um, that are telling um, stories, um, the storytelling becomes a tool whereby outsiders can affect not only social attitude, but also social policy. All right, so we kind of looked at what we're seeing in the media. So let's look at those who view it, who view same-sex adoption as positive. Um, so um, that are same-sex adoption being portrayed in the media as positive. So according to Whitehead and Perry, researchers constantly find that a person Persons who are more supportive of same-sex intimate relationships and adoptions tend to be younger, female, non-Southern, urban, politically liberal, more educated, exposed to diversity, and less, less religious, but hold the belief that homosexuality is innate, not a choice. So we see people that believe that there's a shortage of adoptive parents. So a loving adoptive family, gay or straight, is better than foster care system. We also see people um, that believe that having parents of the same gender is not a disadvantage to children in any way. It's 
um, has nothing to do with their parents' gender and everything to do with society's reaction to the family. So, um, in a study done by Hoover, we um, children actually are more affected by their parents' relationship than their parents' sexual orientation. Researchers in this study um, compared 104 families. 50 of them, which had opposite sex parents, so 29 with them had gay um, fathers, and 25 had lesbian mothers, um, with regard to how happy and well-functioning the children were. So these children did not focus on what parents, of what their parents' sexual orientation was, but how well their parents got along. So this is saying the happier their parents are in the relationship, the better off the children were. So just as there are positive views, there are also negative views of how same-sex adoption is constructed in the media. So in a study done by Clark, um, she gives us six reasons that she explored the arguments commonly used to support the claim that lesbian and gay men should not be parents. These six reasons included, one, the Bible tells me that lesbian and gay parenting is a sin. Two, lesbian and gay parenting is unnatural. Three, lesbian and gay parents are selfish because they ignore the best interests of the child. Four, children in lesbian and gay families lack appropriate role models. Five, children in lesbian and gay families grow up lesbian and gay. And six, children in lesbian and gay families get bullied. So we see a study done by Ragnus that the NFF, NFSS also clearly reveals that children appear more at, uh, um, apt to succeed well as adults on multiple counts and across a variety of domains when they spend their entire, their entire childhood with their married mother and father and especially when their parents remain married to this present day. All right, so that's all I have for y'all.